Our three best decisions. Lo Ta when mom was very pregnant, eight and a half months, in Senden, West Germany in 1974, she was just 18 years old. We made the decision to get married by the town Burgermeister. We then sent a telegram to grandma and grandpa saying today daughter-in-law, grandchild coming soon. 17 days later on May 20, 1974, our perfect baby arrived. Not knowing the sex, we had a two names ready Lota if a boy and Lisa Lot if a girl. I was guessing a girl and so bought a pink baby blanket. Coming home in that blanket would become a family tradition for the next 40 years. Mom has so far stitched seven names and birth dates on that family heirloom. Lota, Grandma named you Kaleo for the voice. Prophetically, you went on to sing with the renowned Fort Bend Boys Choir many years later. Lisa Latte when mom was pregnant in Sugar Land, Texas in 1985, she was 30 years old, approaching the age when there are some medical concerns with pregnancies. At five months, an ultrasound determined the baby was a girl which was wonderful news. But it also revealed that the baby was breached, or feed first, which was distressing news. We nevertheless made the decision to proceed. When mom went into labor, she checked herself and but her doctor was off duty. His stand-in confirmed it was time and started to schedule a normal delivery as nothing about the breach was in her charts. When mom questioned him, the surprise doctor ordered an ultrasound confirming the breach and that a cesarean would be immediately required. That very day, April 10, 1985, our baby arrived. Lisa Latte, grandma named Juhao Lee, for happy. I always believed she chose that name because she was happy for all of us that you came to us perfectly. Hawaiians say that feed first babies have firm foundations. That might have had something to do with your remarkable skating career. Lutz When mom was pregnant in Irving, Texas in 1991, she was then 36 years old. A miscarriage or Down syndrome were pregnancy risks. Furthermore, mom had suffered a blap or a lung collapse, back in Sugar Land when she was rushed by ambulance to the hospital. This would mean that the stress of any future pregnancy would be dangerous. For all these reasons, our obstetrician counseled us to strongly consider termination. I mentioned this to Lota, then 17 years old, who took the idea very badly and was upset with us. We went ahead with the doctor's recommendation and set an appointment with a Planned Parenthood clinic. I dropped mom off and headed back to my office as I was on my lunch break. As I drove away, a feeling came over me, growing stronger and stronger which I cannot explain to this day. I sometimes think that maybe Lota made an impression on me in that moment. I turned the car around and raced back hoping to catch mom in time. She was standing outside, smoking, still waiting her turn. I told her to climb in. We made the decision to have the baby. Another cesarean was required because of her earlier blap. The delivery was scheduled for March 28, 1991. It was supposed to be so routine that mom was awake with just an epidural. And I was even allowed in the room. But as the obstetrician applied the scalpel, mom gave up a scream that startled everyone. They did not wait long enough for the anesthetic to take effect. A nurse rushed me out and I knocked over the instrument tray that went crashing to the floor. When it was all over, I remember proudly looking at our perfect baby in the nursery. The doctor came up to me and said well, I guess it was all worth it. They even told mom she probably imagined feeling the incision. I did think malpractice suit. But only for a brief moment. Because, ironically, the doctor was right. It was all worth it. Lutz, grandma named you Capono for righteous. She never said why she chose that name for you. Righteous is her first slang for awesome. Your accomplishments with the clarinet, chess and tennis were awesome. But, moreover, I think one day you will find out for yourself. Dream.
leaves there. 